Good morning. It is Tuesday already. So I know that jump cut from last night to this morning. So I believe the last thing I told you guys is that we're heading back to the Golden Nugget, getting back on the monorail, heading back to our hotel. Then we're gonna start drinking and then we're gonna start gambling. That did happen, but I didn't bring you guys along. We got way too drunk last night after we got back and I didn't film anything, but we did gamble. We did drink. I actually won $200. And it was on one of those machines also that the maximum bet was $1.50. So one of those old school machines, that's where I won. Well, actually it was a little bit more, it was like $240. Been playing all these machines all night and I go to the old school machine and the machine was squeaking every time you would press the button. It would be like rah, 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 rah. And I'm like, damn, is the machine gonna break? Lucky for me, I did win. We came out even last night. So Vegas for the win. Finally, uh, after like a day and a half of not winning Jack, um, we finally hit you know, $200 is not much, but it's something. Today's agenda, we're actually gonna head back to the strip. We're gonna go to the other side of the strip this time. So MGM Grand, New York, New York, Aria, the far end of the strip. Um, that's where we're gonna be at today. Are planning on going back to Flamingo. I do have a ticket I need to go redeem, um, just cause I didn't do it yesterday when we were there. Planning on going to the bar at the Flamingo with the 50 cent beers that we were at yesterday. I didn't film anything in there just because the music is really loud, the bartenders are crazy, some bartender's walking around with a one of those uh, loud speakers and <laughs> every time a song would come on he would be singing but it would it, it sounded more of a like a metal type song that he was singing through that loudspeaker uh, but it, it was fun i mean we had a blast i mean you can't beat 50 cent beers i mean mind you the cup it's not very big but once you get about six of those in you you feel pretty toasty we we're heading out we we're gonna go out to a hash house where they have big portions of food. Katie and I are probably gonna share a, I don't know, thinking maybe a chicken pot pie. Um, look pretty good. It's enormous, but I'll show you guys when we get there. <clears throat> good morning, muchacha. Good morning. I'm wearing stripes and checkers. This is my new fashion statement. So is that not good or what's going on? It's kind of like breaks the fashion rules, but I only brought one pair of tennies. <laughs> Well, I guess that's the problem. Kids on the phone. She's doing business calls. Very busy. Busy, busy, busy. busy, busy. busy, busy. Super good. It's massive, but it was really good. I'm not a big fan of chicken pot pies, but that was. So the portion that you guys saw should have been a lot bigger. They brought two bowls out of that same portion. And I mean, it was good. It was very fresh. There was a lot of veggies in there. The portions we've seen has been like a lot bigger, but this one, this one was good. Um, so they brought two out. Of course, we didn't finish the second one, so we had to take leftovers. But we're taking those back to the room. All right, so we just got dropped off at the SLS. We're about to hit the monorail. Trying to make it to this happy hour. I think we will. It's early enough. We need to go get another buzz for $20. Well, with the tip. It was like 10 plus 10 for tip. Ready? I him a good tip because he was very attentive. And each time Mike went to the bar, he already had him ready to go. Yeah, he did. So every time I showed up, he was like, two, two. So he would give me two at a time. Left him a $10 tip, which is good. Why is it so loud in here? I don't know. Hold on for dear life. It's going. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like to be on a monorail for those who have not been on the monorail. So it's just a train. All right. So that's the view. You guys already saw B-roll of this, but showing you inside. So for those of you who have not been on the monorail, um, it goes from SLS all the way to MGM, and it's like, what? For both of us, we paid like thirty some dollars. So for two days. Yeah, for two days. So that's good. It's dumping. We're 
we're done drinking and I'm pretty toasted right now. I think we had like, I don't know, we drank a total of 12 or 13 beers each. Yeah, Kelly and I are pretty gone right now. So next stop, MGM. We're at the MGM already. Time to go through these gates. Oh, yeah, I got you. Two through the gates. By the way, happy hour was a success. We were uh, a little toasty. Okay, we're, we're kind of drunk. Yeah, so if you guys want to come to the Flamingo, what is it, Margaritaville? Bird Bar. Bird Bar. At Margaritaville. Yeah, we told you guys, 50 cent beers. I told you guys earlier, it's just, hey, you're, you're gonna get toasty or drunk, either one, depending on how many you can drink in the amount of time, from yeah. five to six. We got drunk off of $10. We did, it was ten dollars it was ten dollars what we spent. Ten dollars. And then left a ten dollar tip. Who gets messed up in Vegas for twenty bucks? The flamingo, that's where. Yeah. Guys, this is my favorite magician, David Copperfield. We're not seeing him tonight, but at least we're here watching. Did you take somebody's photo? Mm -hmm. Yep. They took two people's photos. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. Wow. We were here the last time. You guys have seen it? Watch our first Vegas vlog. Like, we will never not come here and not film David Copperfield, right? Nope. Every time we come here, we gotta film it. Good memories. So check out MGM Grand. This place is massive. We already walked for like 10 minutes and we still haven't found the outside. It's freaking huge. It, it is, is nice. huge. Some kind of club right here. When we came here we had to literally go down to the street level and walk all the way around because they were doing construction so now this is open so we get to go to my favorite hotel new york new york right across the walkway and the walkway is open guys check that out the construction is complete from the last time we were here there you go guys mountains in the back what more can you ask for and the strip so this is my favorite part of the strip down there i mean it's cool but this, this is where the party happens. All right guys, now we're heading out of the uh, New York, New York and going to MGM Park. Look at these lights. How would you like it here? I love this hotel and casino. So we decided to come here and eat a margarita pizza at Italy. They're not making the dough anymore. No. They were a while back. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> hey, how are you? Can take photos with you? Yeah, oh, I got you. Thank okay. you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. First shot of fireball. Yeah. Italy, I got shut down for filming. That's what I get for uh, bringing a big ass camera inside Italy. We had some badass pizza. That clip I showed you guys from the uh, pizza place, it was pretty good. What do you think? It's Italy, not Italy. Italy. Sorry, Italy. Sorry guys. Yeah, Italy. I mean, it was pretty good for six bucks. I mean, we both ate and we got full. I don't know if I told you guys, but we had a margarita pizza, but it was good. I enjoyed it. I mean, it could have been a lot more warmer than it was, but you know, they put it in the uh, toaster oven, I guess you can call it. I could have used a little bit more hot. So now we're probably heading back to downtown Fremont Street. We gotta go through uh, New York, New York to get back to the monorail and back downtown to SLS. We gotta take an Uber back to Golden Nuggets. Any comments? It's funny how where you're staying in Vegas kind of matters when you're out and about. Like, 
we're already like, we want to go back because we want to be like within walking distance of our room <laughs> instead of like, oh, we're all the way over here. So if we get too drunk, it's no bueno. I mean, there's nothing like being in your own stomping grounds, if you call it, and uh, getting super drunk and then just getting some food and walking back to your room. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, we also bought some uh, two 25 ounces and a shot for $15. This is the most we've paid for alcohol down here. Yeah. Downtown on, a, on Fremont, it's two 25 ounce beers for seven bucks. Yep. You can't beat that. So Cannot. paid a little extra for the shot and the beers. We had breakfast here, guys. We sat at that table right there the last time we came. Okay, to drinking a beer. It seems like so long ago. This is what you come downtown Vegas for, or those Vegas strip for all these lights. So pretty. So good. All right, guys, we're back at the SLS. And I just ordered a lift to take us back to the Golden Nugget. So we're gonna spend the rest of the evening over there, night, um, gamble, drink, and then get a late night dinner. And then tomorrow should be our last day here in Vegas. All right, guys, we're back in the room. We're gonna go downstairs and keep drinking and keep on gambling because our buzz is starting to come down. And Katie's already in bed, falling asleep. Check it out. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm just kidding. Word of advice, have you guys ever come to Vegas and you do the ride share, where that means that they may pick up a person or two on the way or they're already in the car when the Lyft driver arrives. Sometimes these uh, drivers have like small cars and then you're like sandwich in the back, like sardines. I was lucky enough to be in the front seat um, this go around, but the past couple of times I've been in the back sardine between like Kaylee and like some other person, so it's pretty crazy and it sucks. Well, you want to tell them about how I told you or I asked you if I could have the front and you were like, oh, my oh okay. God. And then he just like gets to the front of like, I just asked you if I could go in the front. But yeah, it sucks. Like these people have like Toyota Corollas and they're picking up like four people. Like you would expect three adults to be like sandwiched in the back seat of your freaking small ass Toyota Corolla. But, oh well. To each his own. To each its own. It's not a time. Four rails, bro. All right guys, you heard it straight from the horse's mouth. It is Nana's time. For those of you who don't know what that means, it is sleepy times. Good night. No, I'm just joking. So we're gonna go downstairs, drink. We got our cups. We got some foam cups. I don't know to tell you guys. Um, on Fremont Street, they don't usually need the cans that you buy at the stores. So on Fremont Street, there are two 25 ounce cans. Ultra, but well, we've been getting ultra uh, for seven dollars so but there's signs everywhere that tell you you can't drink these beers on the, the fremont street experience because apparently if somebody sees you they'll throw away the uh, beers but then conveniently they have phone cups for you to purchase for a dollar so tell me that sounds like a money making scheme to me if you ask me you can't drink but hey we'll kindly sell you a phone cup Four dollar. All I gotta say about that is, hmm. But we've cheated the system because we bought phone cups on the first day and we've been reusing them. So, ha! There you go, Fremont Street. Take that. Take that. You beat your little money-making system. But it, I mean, in all honesty, we've seen people walking around with the same cans. Like, I don't know. I don't know how real this enforcement of no cans is. You gonna win big? I hope so. Let's do it. We're at the Fremont Casino. 265 credits. Two dollars and sixty-five cents. Nothing. Wow. No. Nothing. Forty cents. Oh God. Bump it down to forty. 
<laughs> what is that? No. Cashing out? The is not good. Uh, There's no way though. Candy's cashing out. Need to go to another machine. So he's had to start at Coney Island. I know. Chili cheese, no, cheese fries. Chili cheese fries. I don't know what that is. What is that? Two Coney Island All of this for $27. Yeah. That's crazy. All right, guys, it's time to eat. We're back in the room. That Coney Island hot dogs and french fries, chili cheese fries, cheese fries hit the spot. It's time to go to bed. Tomorrow is our final day in Las Vegas. Thursday, we go back home. All right guys, till the morning. Peace.